What's happening guys, hope everyone's good out there. Um, just a short video today for you, we're going to give you a wee quick van update. And we also have this wee camera to try out as well, the Insta360 Go 2. A wee while ago I did have a camera that went on Nala's harness at the back, but it was just too shaky. Um, it wasn't really good, so we're going to give this one a go. Newer technology means the camera won't shake about as much. Anyway, we've had it out, and this is it here. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, just that wee tiny camera there. So that clips in here, like so, and then we're just going to put it on the front of our harness, just underneath her neck. So fingers crossed we get some good videos of her just walking about, hopefully see her whiskers, and yeah, let's give it a go. There we go, just slip that on like that, for the clip, perfect, and we want the camera probably up like that. I think, I think that looks good. Now all we need is one cat, and luckily for me, I've got one. Give me a second. Come on, girl. Yes. Whoops, a daisy. Right, so, put the harness on, which is pretty simple. One leg. And two. Clip it on, and I always just give her a wee shake, just to make sure she's good and comfy. I go the camera down a wee bit more. There we go, now let's connect up and let's have a look at it.
Hey, good girl. Good girl. Do you like that? Should we take it off? Three, two, one. There we go. Right guys, so that was the first wee outing with that camera and I quite like it. Um, it's coming up on the phone, quite good quality. So we'll get it on the laptop, see what it's like. Let me know in the comments below if you like it. I think what I would like to do with it though is somehow get it onto her back so we can see just above her head when she's walking. But the thing that's very hard with that is our shoulder blades move. So it rocks quite a bit. But um, yeah, we'll keep it there just now and hopefully we can get it up on above her in the future. Anyway, now for an update on the van. Wow. Yes. So, we have got all the parts to do the doors. That's the door panels down there. And in here, we have got, let's have a peek. This just came today. Hey, right, what's your head? You coming in? You coming? You coming? There we go. We have got all the door seals. We've got door rims. We've got everything in here. We've got the big window seal for the front as well because that was leaking. And some membranes as well just to go on top of the wood to make that all good. We've got all this stuff from a company down in England um, called Just Campers. I'll put the link down below if you want to have a look at it. And they basically specialise in all old car parts and camper van parts and all that sort of stuff. Um, they were brilliant with us, they wanted to see around the van, so we had a video call with them and we sent them some videos. They just basically gave me their expert opinion and advice about what stuff should be done and stuff like that. So um, they did say that I should take it into an expert to get the windows done, someone who knows a bit better than me. And also because they think someone should have a look at the electrics because they're not too sure, the cables don't look very tidy. Um, so then they put me in contact with someone in Stirling and I'm going to be running the van there to them in the next few days um, to get it seen to and get this done, get the electrics done and then fingers crossed we'll be able to get out and do a wee trip. So um, all right, that's update on the van, so fingers crossed we can get out soon and all right, see you all very soon guys, stay safe. Hello. Hey. Hello. <laughs> yes, I found you. Yes, I did. <laughs>